Book 1, The Watchers Chapter 7, The Holy Angels And these are the names of the holy angels who watch mankind. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world and over Tartarus. Raphael, one of the holy one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. Raguel, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, of one of the holy angels to wit, he that it set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. Sarakael, one of the holy angels who is set over the spirits, who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over paradise and serpents and the cherubim. Ramiel, one of the holy angels whom God set over those who rise. And I proceeded to where things were chaotic, and I saw there something horrible. I saw a neither I, I saw neither a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And this I saw seven stars of the heaven born together with it like like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, What sin are they born? And on the and on what account have they be, been cast in heather? They said Uriel Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels, who was with me, and was received over them and said, Enoch, why dost thou ask? And why the, and why art thou eager for the truth? These are the number of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are born here till ten thousand years. Three, the time entailed by their sins are consummated. And from thence I went to another place, which was still more horrible than the former, and I saw a horrible thing. A great fire, a great fire then, a great fire there, which burned and blazed, and the place was cleft, as far as the abyss, being full of great descending columns of fire. Neither extent of, of magnitude could I see, nor could I conjecture. Then I said, How fearful is the place, and how terrible to look upon. Then Uriel answered me, One of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and affright? And I answered, Because of the fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the plain. And he said unto me, This place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be in peace on for forever. And then I went to another place at the mountain of Far Rock, and there was in it four hollow places, deep and wide and very smooth. How smooth are the hollow places and deep and dark to look at? Then Raphael answered, One of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose, that the, spir- that the spirits of the souls, one of the dead, one of the dead should assemble therein, yea, that all the that all the souls of the children of men should assemble here, and these places have been made to receive them till the day of the judgment of their judgment, and till the appointed period, till the great judgment upon them. And I saw death men making sweet, and the spoils went forth to heaven and made sweet. And I asked Raphael to the angel who was with me, and I said unto him, This spirit, which makes you, which makes you, who, who is it, who, whose voice, whose voice got forth and made sweet to heaven? And he answered me, saying, This is the spirit which went forth from Abel, whom his brother came slew, and he makes his sweet against him, till he seed is destroyed upon the face of the earth, and he seed, is annihilated from amongst the seed of men. Then I asked regarding it and regarding all the hollow places, why is one separated from another? And he answered me and said to, unto me, These three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated, and such a division has been made for the, for the spirits of the righteous, in which therein in, in which there is the bright spring of water, 
and such uh, and such has been made for sinners when they die and are buried in the earth, in the earth and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Here the spirit shall be set apart in this great pain till the great day of judgment and punishment and torment of those who curse forever and redistribution for the spirits. There he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who make the seed, who make this closer on saving the destruction when they when they were slain in the days of the sinners. Such have been made for the spirits of men, who were not gratuitous but sinners, who were complete in, tran in transgression, and of the transgressors they shall be companions, but the spirits shall not be slain in the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from thence. Then they, the, I blessed, the, then they I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness, who ruled forever. For thence I went to another place to the west of the of the ends of the of the earth, and I saw burning fire which ran without resting, and passed not from its course day or night, but regularly. And I saying, and I asked saying, what is the, what is the what is this which is not? Then Raguel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered me and said unto me, This cause of fire, which thou hast be which thou hast seen, is the fire in the west, which persecutes all the luminaries of heaven. And from thence I went to another place of the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of the fire of fire which burned day and night. And I beyond and I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing each from the other, and the stones were magnificent and beautiful, manif magnificent as a whole, of glorious appearance and fair stereo, three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three towards the south, one upon the other, and deep raw ravens, no one of which joined with any other. And the seven mountains was in the midst of this, and they assailed them in hate, resembling the seat of a throne, and fragment trees inside the throne. And amongst them was a tree such as I had never yet smelt. Neither was any amongst them, nor were others like it. It has a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms, and woods withered not forever, and its wood is beautiful, and its wood resembles the deeds of, pa of a palm. Then I said, How beautiful is this tree! A wagon and the leaves are fair, and the bulbs very delightful in the appearance. They un then answered Michael, one of the holy and honorable angels, who was with me and was their leader. And he said me unto me, Enough, why dost thou ask me regarding the fragrance of the tree? And why dost thou wish to learn the truth? And then I answered him, saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he, answered, and he answered, saying, the, This high mountain which thou hast seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne. But the Holy Great One, the, the Lord of glory, the eternal King, will sit, when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as from this fragrance, three no more is permitted to touch it till the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring and, and bring to its consummation forever. It shall be, it shall then be given to the righteous and holy. This would shall be for food for, to the elect. It shall be uh, transpl transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Then shall they rejoice with joy and be glad, and into the holy place shall they enter, and its fragrance shall be in their bones, and they shall live a long life on the and they shall live a long life on earth, such as they, thy father lived, and in their days shall no sorrow of blood or torment on calamity touch them. Then blessed I the Lord, the Lord of then blessed I the God of glory, the eternal King, who had prepared such things for the righteous, and had created them, and promised to give them, and promised to give to them. And I went from thence to the middle of the earth. 
and so blessed place in which there were trees with branches abiding abi abiding and blooming. In this tree I saw a holy mountain, and near the mountain to the east there was a stream, and it flowed towards the, the soul. And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this, and within there a deep and narrow raven, and it also ran a stream under the reach and the, mount the mountain. And to the west thereof, thereof there was another mountain lower than the former and of the small and of small elevation, and driving deep and dry between them. And another deep and dry raven was at the extremities of the three mountains. And all the ravens were deep and narrow of hard rock, and trees were not planted upon them. And I marveled at the rocks, and I marveled at the raven, yeah, I marveled very much. Then I said, For what object is this blessed land, which entirely filled with trees, and this accused valley between? Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said, This accused valley is for those who are accused forever. Here shall all the accused, accused be gathered together, who utter with their lips against the Lord, and seeming the words, works of his glory, speak hard things. Here shall they be gathered together, and here shall be the place of judgment. The last is, there shall be upon them the spectacle of righteous judgment in the presence of the righteous, righteous of forever. Here shall the merciful bless the Lord of the glory, of glory, the eternal King. It, in, the days of, in the days of judgment, over the former, they shall bless him for, for the mercy in accordance, in accordance with which he has assigned them. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and said for his glory and loaded him gloriously. And then I went towards the east, into the midst of the mountain range of the desert, and I saw wilderness, and it was solitary, full of trees and plants, and water gushed forth from above, rushing, uh, rushing like a, f a copious water course towards this northwest, it caused clothes, in due to a sand on every side, and thence I went to another place in the desert, and approached to the east on this mountain range, and there are aromatic trees as hailing the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh, and the trees also were similar to the almond tree. And beyond this, I went afar to the east, and I saw another place, a valley of water, and therein there was a tree, the color of fragrance trees, fragrant trees, such as the mastic. And on the sides of those valleys, I saw fragrant cinnamon. And beyond this, I proceeded to the east, and I saw other mountains. And amongst them, were the were groves of trees, and there flowed forth from them nectar, which named Saraga and Galbanum. And Galbanum. And beyond these mountains, I saw another mountain to the east, on the ends of the earth of the of the earth. Whereon were a low tree, a low trees, and all the trees were full of stacked, stacked, big like almond trees. And when one burned it, it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. And after these fragrant odors, as I looked towards the north over the mountain, I saw seven mountains, full of choice nut and fragrant trees, and cinnamon and pepper. And then I went over the summits of all these mountains, far towards the east of the, uh, the earth, and passed above the Eritrean Sea, and went far from it, and passed over the angle Sotil. And I came to the garden of righteousness, and from afar off I saw numerous trees, and these great two trees there, very great, beautiful, and glorious, and magnificent, and the tree of knowledge, whose holy fruit they eat and know good wisdom. That the, the tree is in height like the stang, stangle fig, and the leaves are like the carob tree, and its fruit is like the clusters of the vine, very beautiful, and the fragrance of the tree penetrates afar. Then I said, How beautiful is the tree, and how attractive is its look! 
Then Raphael, the holy angel, who was with me, answered me and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which the father of the of which the father ought and the each other, who were before the have eaten, and they learned wisdom and their eyes were opened, and they knew that they were naked and died, and they were driven out of the of the garden of the garden. And from thence I went to the air, to the ends of the earth, and saw the great beast, and each different from the other, and birds also differing in appearance and beauty and voice, the one differing from other. And to the east of those beasts, I saw the ends of the earth where on the heaven rest, and the portals of heaven above, of the heaven open. And I saw how the stars of heaven come forth, and I counted the portals out of which they proceed, and got down all the outlets of each individual star by itself, according to their number and their names, their causes and their positions, and their times and their models, as Uriel, the holy angel who was with me, showed me. He showed all things to me, and wrote them down for me also. Their names he wrote for me, and they lost their companions, their companions. And from thence I went towards the north to the end of to the end of the earth, and there I saw a great and glorious device at the ends of the whole earth. And here I saw three portals of heaven open in the heaven. Through each of them proceed north winds. When they blow there is called hell frost, snow, dew, and rain. And out of the and out of the one portal they blow for good. But when they blow through the water to pol the other two portals, it is with violence and affliction on the earth, and they blow fi with violence. And from thence I went to us to, to the west of, of to the west to the ends of the earth. And so there, and so the three portals of heaven open, such as I had seen it, I had seen in the east, the same number of portals, the same number of outlets, and from that I went to the south, and to, I went to the south to the ends of the earth, and so the three open portals of the heaven, and thence there come dew, rain, and wind. And from this I went to the east of to the ends of the heaven, and saw here the three eastern portals of heaven open and small and small portals above them. Through each of these small portals passed the stars of heaven, and ran the coast to the west of the path which is shown to them. And as often I saw, I, I, and as often as I saw, I bless always the Lord of the glory. I always bless. I bless always. The, the Lord of glory, and I continue to bless the Lord of glory, was work great and glorious wonders, to show the greatness of his work to the angels and to the spirits and to the men. Then they might praise his work and all his creations, and all his creation, that they might see the work of his might and praise the great work of his hands and bless him forever.